2015 ended on a challenging note for President Jacob Zuma, especially following his decision to axe Nklantla Nene as finance minister. The backlash led to nationwide calls for him to be fired, the rand took a knock, and there were fears that investors would flee. But, he says, the matter was blown out of proportion. I think people did not understand. I think there was an exaggeration in terms of the reaction. There is no single person who can collapse a department, particularly a department like the Treasury. The president has also been criticized for his association with the Gupta family, something he believes was sparked by his political detractors. One of the reasons <clears throat> that people see, see that relationship is that my son once worked, there was employed, he has done ICT. He worked there for some time and left. <clears throat> And, and, and started business and on his own came to discuss with them, to, to be partner with them in some companies. Now precisely because he's Zuma and then Zuma is, is, is corrupt, why? His son is there. Now, I don't understand really. And on the recent heated debate surrounding race. People have tended to exaggerate the issue of racism. Because they say South Africa is still a racist country. Not true. We defeated racism when we pursued the non-racial society. Our society is a rainbow nation, it's non-racial. It does not remove certain individuals who have racist beliefs, who are uttering racist statements. You cannot, because people less than five, have made racist statements and then Brush the whole country that the country is racist. With the local government elections set to take place this year, the president and the ANC are hoping to win back the confidence of voters.